guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shelby from Caritos Chronicles and we put up videos every few days so before you leave today make sure you subscribe today's video is a little bit different I'm just gonna be explaining to you why my five month old at the time needed eye surgery why it is now 11 months um, in a couple days we just started eye patching him and I just wanted to kind of touch base onto why we are doing that when Wyatt was born they checked both of his eyes for the red eye reflex and at the time it was documented that they had found it. So flash forward to his two month checkup um, for his first round of shots with his family doctor. He was looking at his right eye and was staring at it a little bit too long so I decided to like ask, you know, is there something wrong with that eye? Because I had kind of noticed it almost being like, like he was over compensating with the other eye like if he was looking to the right he like would really turn because I feel like he had to use his left eye to see so anyways I had asked the doctor about it and he he said that he couldn't see the red eye reflex so um, he had checked the notes from the hospital and said that it had been checked. It's a little concerning to a doctor when there isn't a red eye reflex, so we were sent to a specialist in Toronto um, about an hour and a half away. It took two months to get in there. We got there, we waited five hours to see this doctor where she thought that he had, I think it's called like malignant melanoma or something. No, that's not right. It's like blastoma. It's like malignant blastoma or something. So it's like cancer in the eye. She thought she had seen a mass. So we were shipped to sick kids in Toronto the very next morning, um, obviously thinking the worst. So we get there, they do a clamp of the eye, um, a full ultrasound of the eye, and they get like a full imaged view. And there was no cancer, which was great, but it turns out that there was some retina damage. We were sent to a surgeon and he didn't really know what he was gonna find until he got in there so we had to book a surgery it was a day surgery it was in and out when he got in there he noticed that the fluid in his eye was like bloody like there was old blood in there which was causing him not to have any vision the cells behind the retina like they're damaged so even after like removing all the blood from the, the gel inside the eye he only has about 50% vision. So after a few checkups, our, do our the surgeon kind of like discharged us and sent us to this new doctor who is working with us um, to do the patchwork. So we're patching the left eye to see if we can strengthen the right eye at all and bring it up a little bit more. So we went to Toronto to sit kids for the day to meet his new doctor and get his patchwork. I wanted to film as much as I could for you guys here, but I couldn't. Um, I wasn't allowed to film. The doctors were a little bit awkward about being on camera, so... We are just getting ready to go to Wyatt's eye appointment, and I'm totally extra today. And he's got his camel pants, and I've got my camo shirt. This is from Walmart, by the way. It's cute, and then I can match Wyatt because moms of boys know, other than like few patterns and then colors, it's really hard to match with them. So anyways, our appointment is at 1.30. To arrive there 15 minutes before, I like to get there almost half an hour before. Mostly because if you don't check in, you go to the bottom of the list. So if I miss checking in before my time, I could wait around for hours. Once we're checked in, we usually wait up to about a half an hour before we're actually seen. That's after our appointment. So if I check in at one and our appointment's at 1.30, we're usually seen by two. It's the city, it's busy. You wanna bring that? You can bring that, you put it in your bag. Um, it's busy, we hit traffic every time. And then of course, um, we get seen by a fellow she does a little eye exam where she holds up cards. I'm gonna try to get a, some footage of that, but if not, she holds up cards with pictures on either side, and he's just to kind of find them with his eyes. And the last time we had one, it was kind of funny because he's like above the spectrum 
for somebody who was like half blind. Yeah, he's above the spectrum right now for his eyesight. And then after that, she puts in the eye drops and we're to wait for a half an hour for them to dilate. Wyatt's not even the youngest one there usually and he's 10 months old but it does range, like they go up to ages 18. So when the doctor sees us, we're meeting a new one today to discuss his patch. We're gonna be patching this eye so that the right eye can strengthen. Um, their goal is, I think they said max or minimum two hours a day for it to be therapeutic. So <laughs> I'm gonna finish getting us ready and then we're gonna head to my parents. They're coming with us today. They've never came with us to an appointment, so they wanted to come with us today since his dad has to work and can't come. And I don't mind because Toronto's hectic and boring and okay, yeah. He wants to go, so we're gonna get ready and go over there. We're off to the hospital. He's gonna have a nap. Yeah. We did get the patches. I'm gonna show you what those look like and then how to put them on. Why it hates them, so I'm probably not gonna add sound to it because it'll just be a bunch of screaming, but Basically we put it on and it's like you can't see. It's like we've turned the lights out. He kind of just cries. It's a lot of distracting. Like I've looked up everything. Like a lot of people say after like 15, 20 minutes, the kid's distracted and kind of forgets about the patch. But like the full two hours we're supposed to leave this patch on, he is crying and upset and miserable. And we have to leave it on for at least two hours or it's not therapeutic. So it's kind of been a little bit of a struggle to say the least, for sure. Play it on daddy. <laughs> but we're hopeful that it's gonna help, and if not, we'll have to go back for another surgery. Um, they'll do a muscle alignment, 
where the four muscles that like attach your eye, like I guess maybe one or two might be loose, they think maybe perhaps that's why um, it's doing that, like because it's kind of lazy or maybe they'll just like strap it down so at least it'll like stay focused with the other eye. I'm not sure, I'm just hoping that the patch works. We have two months until our next appointment and then four months until we see the doctor again. So wish us luck basically because it is hard. It's hard and it's heartbreaking because like, yeah, it's like he's blind. So I hope you liked learning a little bit more about Wyatt and his eye and if anybody else kind of has a similar experience, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And maybe it's just spreading a little bit more awareness to the situation, but like it happens. Um, the cause of this was from a forcep birth. The forcep clamp went right over his eye and knocked it and it's a small chance of it happening, but it happened to us. So yes, I just wanted to fill you guys in and share a little bit more about our family and my son and all that. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.